My uh, like early influence is Chicago House, super early Detroit techno. See, this is kind of foundation. I really like the, uh, the grooves came from the uh, black music, taking the inspiration and they mixed with the music I do. Today you were playing live at the Tortuga Beach for Sunnyside Festival. How was your experience of playing at the festival today? This is not the first time I'm doing the uh, live set outside, but the first time on the beach, the uh, people actually like you know enjoying the sun. I do the uh, maybe like I don't know six different live sets. In the one with the uh, uh, modular things. Today I did for the sampler, and it's more like a, kind of my take of the uh, modern house music but I get a lot of influence from the 90s stuff, 90s Chicago. Those records I collected back in the day in, in the 90s, during the COVID time, I was really digging again, and I found it really interesting stuff. It's like still relevant to uh, this, I mean, this day. It's, it doesn't sound, some stuff it doesn't sound old, but uh, I found it really like life set is most uh, challenging okay. in different aspects, like, you know, one, musically and technically, when I do the modular set, it's 100% improv. Today is like, a, you know, not the modular set, but it's like with the samplers, drum machines. I did a lot of the uh, quick improvisation. I can do the uh, longer breakdown because of they are really having, having fun. Stuff like this. This is like dedication. Live set, I mean, takes a lot of time to preparation, but the uh, satisfaction is taken like a different level. Thinking back over the years, you've, you've collaborated with, with a lot of artists over the years. If you think back, is there a, a particular collaborative experience that you've had that particularly stands out to you or was particularly impactful to you and, and maybe changed how you were making your own music? The obvious answer is the, the first record I did with the uh, Frankie Knuckles and the Robert Owens. Yeah, well, I, I was in the university, so I was like 20 or 21 years old. So the, the, a lot of the uh, learning and, the, and uh, flying to New York to uh, going to Francois Kevokian studio. I learned a lot and it's like it's really opened the door for me. Yeah, this is yeah, definitely like yeah, yeah, my uh, life-changing experience. This was tears. Yeah. In terms of collaborations now, are you still collaborating with people, or are there any collaborations upcoming that you can share? Yeah, the uh, um, especially like live stuff. Two weeks ago, um, I did. Uh, live set with the uh, Kunyuki Takahashi. He's a talented musician. This, this is also like 100% improv. So we don't really know what's going to happen, okay. but we just jam in front of people. A lot of fun. In the, in the studio, uh, I did a lot of the uh, remix for the uh, friends. Yeah. I actually collaborate, collaborating um, over the internet. It's not my thing. Okay, yeah. So it's, I like to be in the, in the same room. To actually get in the studio together yeah. and to do it together. Is there someone who you haven't collaborated with before that you would really like to? <laughs> well, there's like, there's many, so many people. It's, I can't really just yeah, mention one. Okay, lots of people. Yeah, there's just lots of talented people out there. I mean, tonight alone, it's like so many, uh, you know, talented. Yeah. People, yeah. Maybe we'll see some collaborations out of some of the people. That yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we'll look forward to seeing what comes next. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. Thanks very much. Thank you. Control. Like a cloud, I've been smiling whenever.